All right, good morning, folks. It's a pretty chilly start here on this Jersey spring morning, but hopefully the fish is a little bit hot and the thermostat is reading right now. The main target species we're gonna be looking for on this trip is gonna be summer flounder, AKA fluke. It's May 4th right now, so the season has only been open for three days. And I've already been out twice this season with uh, not much luck, but hopefully we get an early enough start this morning on the parkway that we can uh, maybe find ourselves a pretty gnarly bite. Early season like this is some of the best opportunities land-based anglers have to get on some pretty awesome fishing. So that's the game plan for today. So fingers crossed that we can find the fish this morning. Right now, let's just chop it up on the parkway for a little bit longer. had to get the pre-send vibes right. Yesterday I came out here, no breakfast, no coffee, and uh, pretty much just fumbled the bag. So hopefully a full stomach this morning will get us on the fish a little bit better. That's how you start the day, baby. All right, folks, now as I briefly mentioned in the beginning of the video, we are just a couple days here past the opening of fluke season. And uh, I have been out here a couple times so far. Yesterday in particular, I was out here, same exact spot with the same exact intentions, except for the fact that I slipped through all of my alarms and missed out on a really epic bite there, right around sunrise like we're, like we're getting on today. But I did meet up with a couple of my friends, the jetty jockeys, who were leaving the jetty as I pulled up and they had a pretty fantastic morning. Hey, that's the biggest week I've seen a grip, dude. I know, bro. Damn. Damn. This is the smallest keeper flounder you've seen. Right here, too. Yeah. Bro, I, I was like, oh, my dude, I'm going to lose this fish. It's fun to catch him, bro. Good job, baby. Yeah, let's get it. So hopefully today we can get on at least some part of the fishing that was going down here yesterday. I uh, am a little more prepared today, switched up setups. Yesterday I really was just unprepared between waking up late, not having the right tackle. Today the conditions are almost exactly the same. We actually were front rolling them later today. Some northeast winds and uh, should be getting overcast here pretty soon. High tides of 7.15 here on the jetty. So by fishing that entire outgoing, we should be able to produce a couple bites. But we still got quite some ways to go. Got about a three quarter mile walk until we get to the tip. A little bit down yonder. All right, definitely it's a little wet out here. There you go. Didn't take long. Not bad. Dare I say they're chewing out here? Couple boats out there. All right, finally made it out to the jetty here. Looks like the fishing's already off to a pretty good start. Bust open some gulps here. Shout out Jake for hooking this up yesterday. I don't know if it was bad luck at the time, but maybe this morning this curly tail will work. Go big or go home, I'll throw a jerk shot on the teaser there. All right, there we go, all rigged up. Got our chicken rig here. Little curly tail on the bottom, jerk shot on the top. Two ounce coin sinker on the bottom. Fishness on our 3000 size Pen Battle 3, seven six star rod inshore. Already seen a couple keepers float around the jetty, so the tide hasn't even switched yet. Fishing should be on fire this morning. That's how it's going to start off. So let's give it a first cast of the day. Like that west wind too. Way more west than northeast. So I'll take that. Just giving it a light cast here. And I was jigging this as fast as possible. I'm reeling it in super slow. That's hopefully how we're going to tantalize some of these flukes. Second cast. Second cast. Boom. 
there we go second cast just a little short right there probably a little 15 incher <laughs> i'll take it though first fish of the day first fluke of the 2023 season see you dude awesome man all right let's slide down a rock or two Uh, that's rather fun here, bro. There he is. There he is. Another little guy. Choke the grub. Absolutely smoked it. Another little short, though. Definitely gonna be less keepers, more pressure that gets put on the spot. But oh, a little dinker right there. See, bro. All right, that's two on Jake's grub. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Literally yesterday, I threw this thing for like an hour on a different setup with uh, just one phantom bite. But that's two shorts and probably just 15 minutes of fishing here. So I'm fine playing some catch and release. We still got. Still got to get ourselves a keeper out here, or maybe even three of them. This is definitely the, the good start I was looking for when I came out here. That west wind's making conditions even better, blowing right off the beach there, keeping this water real nice and clear. And uh, if you know anything about fluke, they like that clear water. Oh, shoot. Took my tail right there. And there's our first one of those for the day. A little blowfish or short fluke bite. All right, so unfortunately we already lost our first rig in just the first hour of fishing here. Sorry, Jake, for losing your gulp. So had to dumb it down a little bit, just fishing the plain bait holder hook now and uh, switch up the gulps a little bit too. We've got a uh, six inch pink shine grub down here and uh, for our teaser, just a little four inch uh, root beer chartreuse swimming wallet. So I ran out of teasers. We just fished with some plain 5.0 bait holder hooks now, but these fish seem pretty fired up. Really shouldn't make much of a difference. Hopefully we don't get too many more snags, but that's just part of jetty fishing, I guess. Let's get out there again. Let's see if this makes any difference in the fishing here. Let's go double pink shine here. Maybe that's the secret. See if this will work here. Just gotta keep switching it up till we find what gets us a bite. Just got smoked. Just got crushed. Might be a decent fish there. That guy smoked it, bro. Oh yeah, that's a good one there, dude. Yeah, buddy. That's a good fluke right there, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a keeper all day. Chunky fish. Let me get a quick measure on him. Dude, smoke that bait. All right, tape measure's a little beat up here. One, 19 and a half inches. It's a sizable fish right there. That's a beautiful fluke right there, bro. Hooked him right in the jaw. There he is, folks. First keeper fluke of the season. 19 incher right there, beautiful fish. All right, so this is my first keeper fluke of the season. I'm gonna start off with good karma and let her go. That's a gnarly fish there, though. All right, see you, bud. All right, I do plan on keeping a limit, hopefully, if we can get it. But uh, first keeper fluke of the season, start off with some karma, solid 19 incher. Solid bite there on the grub. But uh, now we got to catch a keeper for the table. Done playing nice. That was dope though. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Hopefully he survives the onslaught here because there's a bunch of guys that definitely would take that guy home. But first keeper of the season. Awesome, man. Oh man, 
Just had one on my feet right here. This whole time I'd have been casting out a little too far. There he is, dude. Oh yeah, no way, double header. Nice fish, right on my feet, bro. <laughs> no way. This guy might be coming home with us. That's crazy, they've been right there this whole time. Let's see, we get two on a 17 to 18 inch slot and one 18 plus. This guy might be in that slot. And if so, he is uh, coming home with us. Sorry for the destroyed tape measure here. Let's get him on a flat surface. All right, boom, 17 on the nose. That's a keeper right there, bro. There we go. Second keeper, first eater of the day. A little 17 inch right there. Sick. All right, let's bleed him out, leave him on the rocks. All right, and we very nearly had a double header there. The fish are not out as far as I thought. They're actually right at my feet. I don't know if they're the fish people have been releasing next to the rocks or if the fish just pushed in close. But I saw so many flukes swimming right here, literally at my ankles. So we're gonna jig around there and uh, maybe that'll be the ticket here because the bite really slowed down out there. No one's really gotten a bite in a minute. But well, let's investigate further. See if we can prove this theory. It's a quick little pitch right there. And we just went like this. There he is, yep. Another one at my feet right there. Boom. That guy's probably a little small. Probably a little 16 incher there, but that works. That'll play. See you, bud. Literally, same exact spot at my ankles. There he is. That's a good one there, dude. Oh, that's a good one there. Oh, no. That was the biggest one of the day, bro. Right there. This is crazy. They're literally giants at my feet. That was the biggest fish of the day. There he is. Oh, they're biting it so slow. We're short striking the crap out of this bait. Getting bit every drop, though, dude. That's nuts. There he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. Good one there. Oh. Hell yeah, dude. That might be our over 18, which in that case, I'll let him go. Kind of want a bigger one. <sighs> there we go. Another solid fluke right there. Probably 18 incher. I'm not even going to measure this guy. It's definitely an over, and I'd rather catch like a 20. Keep that one. See you, bud. I don't even know how many keepers we've caught today, but. We've already caught a limit pretty much. And uh, we only have one fish on the box. So I want one more like 17 to 18 incher. Then we'll start trying to catch like a, a 20 plus to keep. We've got so much time left in the tide. There it is. Little guy. Another micro. Cool little like 16 incher there. I don't even know what number of fish this is here. Probably approaching like a dozen so far on the day. They're absolutely stacked here. I just wonder if there's any megas up real close. These fish, not that pressured. Little guy slammed it, dude. Relax. Jeez, look how he ate that. Now that's eat right there, bro. <laughs> Crushed it, dude. Just smoking them out here today. See you, bud. Almost feels like cheating. Can't believe how many fish are here at my feet. Oh, dude. Just snapping my tails off, though. I'm not a fan of that at all. Throw a shrimp on if they're gonna do that. It's like the only spot I can find with sand here on the entire rock pile. That's probably why they're so stacked. There he is. Gotcha. Oop. See you, bud.
There we go on the shrimp. Smaller. Hopefully we didn't catch all the big fish first. Lots of little guys in there now. There you go, dude. Thought there'd be like one doormat lurking in this pool, but I think we might have caught him. Might have been that 18 incher. I think catching about 10 fish in this little area is pretty good though. Even if there's not much size left. Hopefully the plate picks up a little better on the southbound side. Yeah, yeah. Conditions are pretty optimal except for that rain offshore. Oh, I know. We got real close. Yeah. yeah. But that one I just got was like way far out. Yeah, my biggest was far out, but my caught most of my fish way in. One one there you go. One happy. First day out, one happy. Hell yeah. There he is. There he is. Oh, another short. First fish in probably 30 minutes though. Bite slowed down. I tried casting out farther with no luck. I think they might just be close, but I could not find any more sand pockets like this along the whole jetty. So we're just gonna grind this out. We've only got one keeper. We've caught three keepers so far, only kept one. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. Oh yeah. Oh, there goes another tail. Hopefully that was a fluke right there. I uh, don't know if the bluefish moved in. Don't really wanna find out, but that's your uh, 9.30 update there. Bite really, really drastically slowed down. Just a couple shorts getting caught here and there. Nothing like the action we had earlier, but uh, hoping as that outgoing tide continues to keep moving, we uh, should get back on the bite. Yesterday I died for a little bit too, and then it picked back up as I actually got here. So it's uh, still very early in the day, very early in the tide, lots of time to fish. So let's get re-rigged, get back out there. All right, we are going through gold like Nobody's business today. This is a lot of fun, this broke too. Guess we gotta switch it up to a nuke chicken too. Running out of those pink shines. Hot bait though this morning. All right, let's get back out there. That guy's got one down there. Still some fish around. Also had the wind do a complete 90 degree switch. We were fishing a west northwest wind. Now it's straight north, turning northeast. So I don't know how that'll affect the bite. Might have shut it down so far, but. But hopefully, but again, hopefully that bite turns back on. One advantage of this north wind though, I'm bombing these casts out there. There he is, there he is, there he is. Uh, what size, short? Yeah, definitely a short there. On the top gulp, huh? All right, it's our first fish in another minute. But I really did slow down. Right now I'm just kind of trying to get those last couple keepers. But at least it's fun to get a bend in the rod. All right, bud. See ya. <laughs> Little fluke slide. Just jig till your arm falls off. That's the name of the game. Just hoping there's that. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hoping there was a bigger one out there. This one feels decent. I don't know how big he is. There we go, back to back casts. Hard to tell how big this guy is. I don't think he's huge. Nah, definitely a short here. Yep, another one on the top gulp though. Back to back casts. I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Choked it too. All right, see you, buddy. Not as graceful as the last release. All right, and that came on the uh, little four inch grub here. Downsize, we're really running through grubs between losing tails and getting chewed up like that. Plenty of life out there. It's just so we can get a couple more big ones. There we go, back to back cast. Oh, third short in a row. At least we're getting fish. Can't complain about that. See you, dude. 
nothing on the nuke chicken down here. If we get one more on the pink shine, I'll switch it up to another pink shine because that color seems to be working way better than this guy. Oh. At least we're still catching fish though. Bite seem to turn on at least a little bit. Seen a couple more shorts caught up and down the jetty here. I've got a couple for myself, but not how it was when we first got here this morning. Literally every cast and uh, mostly big fish too. Right now, a little bit harder to weed through it looks like. There he is, there he is. That feels a little bit better there. Oh yeah, that's a keeper there for sure, maybe. Let's give her a quick measure. Hoping that's our second slot there. Maybe 17 here, we'll see. Yeah. 16 and three quarters, all right, bud. Yeah. After you get a couple days into it, you get the... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Today's your lucky day, I guess. See ya. All right, let's get back to our spot here. Fourth short, that one hit the nuke chicken finally, so we'll leave her on there. A little bit bigger, but as that guy just said, the more fishing pressure at this spot, the uh, less keepers we're gonna have a chance to catch, which is probably why I won't come back here much more, especially later in the season. The spot will be already fished out. Let's see if we can get our keepers today, at least. All right, that guy just left the limit. Pretty painful here. <laughs> Knowing I could have left two hours ago, but. I decided to release my limit when the bite was good. Now I'm definitely struggling. Uh, here comes the rain. Up your last cast right there. So normally rain and wind will not scare me off the jetty, but it's been about an hour and a half now since we got any bite at all. The fishing really seemed to dry up, but that's what we're gonna call it a wrap here today, folks. Ultimately leaving the jetty with one 17 inch keeper right here, fitting in that slot. We, uh, we absolutely did limit out today. I released at least one more slot and at least two overs. And I think we ended up catching over 20 flounder. I don't know how many I was able to catch on video, but it was really almost every cast I was catching a fish. And uh, definitely my best land-based flounder day to date. It's only around 11.30 right now. I have the entire rest of the day ahead of me. I, uh, I really didn't need that much meat anyways. So I'm happy I'm just leaving with one fish right here. You know, contribute a little bit to conservation, let someone else catch them. I don't know if I'll be back out here because this spot does get heavily pressured early season and the fish aren't limited. You know, I'm glad I was able to get a keeper today, but throughout the season that, that population is going to dwindle significantly. So, so I'm trying to make the most of the Jersey spring fishing season anyway. We've got a lot of exciting trips planned, uh, including tomorrow morning. So stay tuned, folks. Plenty of videos in the pipeline. Hopefully some more dope ones like this. But uh, yeah, hell of a morning out there on the jetty. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button if you guys enjoyed. And uh, that's all, folks. See you in the next one. You.